Hello, and welcome to Nextara's video series on the Salesforce Developer Workbooks. In this track, we'll be walking you through the Force.com workbook. This series covers Chapter 1, Create an App and Database. This video covers Section 1, Create a Warehouse App. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series for more. Now the first thing you'll want to do is launch your web browser and go to HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash login dot salesforce dot com. Now type in your username and password and then click login to Salesforce or just press enter. Now click add app from the getting started section. For the app field, go ahead and type warehouse. And then for label, let's type merchandise. And the plural label will also be merchandise. Then click create. Now click go to my app. Go ahead and click Start Tour, and let's follow along with this quick overview. First, it'll show you the Force.com app menu, which shows you all the apps that are available to you, including the app you just created. Then click Continue, and it will show you the tabs. Tabs provide a way to find and organize objects and records in your Salesforce apps. The New button is what you'll use to create new records and the force.com quick access menu lets you jump to some app customization features. Now let's try out this app. Go ahead and click new to create a new record. Let's type laptop for merchandise name and then click save. Now let's take a look at all the functionality that's included by default in the app you just created. Every app has full text search functionality for all fields, which can be accessed from the search bar here. Every object in Salesforce automatically has an attached feed called Chatter that lets users socialize and collaborate on the object. Every organization has a recycle bin that you can use to review and restore deleted records. Every record has an owner, which is the basis for the security you can manage activities related to the record from the open activities and activity history lists. And in the lower right hand corner you will find the chat window that allows your users to interact with each other by chat. In our next video we'll cover section 2, accessing the app from a mobile device. Thank you for joining us. For more great content click to follow us on Google+.